Hey guys, so we are going to talk about what is next for myself and Luke and what competition we're going to be doing next. So obviously I think everybody knows that we're going to be doing the Royal Albert Hall. It got announced on Instagram. Yeah, we look forward to it. We've not done Royal Albert Hall since the first year it was on, which was 2021. The crowd is really good. It's a very good v a venue. Um, very loud because it's very impact. So we look forward to getting back there. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the lineup because this is probably the most insane Giants li live lineup there has been in recent years. So first up is Mitchell Hooper, the current world's strongest man. Then it's myself. Then we have Evan Singleton. Then we have Rongo Keane, Spencer Rimmick, and Kevin Fairs in this side. Right, and then we have the machine, Alexei Novikov, Iron Bibby, Pavel Kordiaka, myself, Eddie Williams, and Pavlo. Pavel, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your second name, but big Pavel, wide Pavel. So a huge lineup. Um, obviously, you know, a lineups at Giants Live and Worlds, etc., etc., it is um, always a possibility of changes. Um, but as long as both Tom and myself are 100% with no injuries, we're going to be there 100%. As Tom said, we haven't been there for a couple of years. We were there the very first year that they held at the Albert Hall, and it was, it was, it was absolutely amazing. This year, we're back. We've been training really hard already for it. I was down at Giants Live. Darren Sadler kindly let me come down and train last Friday. I went on the Viking Press. I equaled the world record. Got 13 reps on that. Feeling really good. Did the stone run. Um, did some yoke as well. And really excited as well. I believe we're getting a new stone platform soon. So stay tuned for that in the warehouse, which is awesome. Really pumped up for that. So it's going to be awesome. You know, I think... Both Tom and myself, we've got plans to go back down to Leeds to train there. Mm -hmm. We want to get a shot of the Nickel Stones. Um, Brett Nickel has down down in his bit. We've just got the Nickel Stone handles as well. So, you know, we are very well prepared this time. And, and I think that's what you guys want to see. You want to see both Tom and myself as fully trained, as prepared, excuse me, as we can be. Um, and that's what we are really um, focusing on um, for the next wee while. Um, we have... Some other bits and pieces going on in between, um, as we always do, but we are making training a priority. Um, we're just super, I think we're both really motivated after World's Strongest Man. And it's it's just given us that bit between the teeth, you know, it's people will say, oh, unlucky for doing this, blah, blah, blah. But I think that's what we needed. You know, certainly you, you came second, bloody hell, I mean, four podiums in a, in a row, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I know from training with you last little while, Tom's hungrier than ever to reclaim that title. But first up is the Albert Hall, um, and yeah, I'm really excited. So we tell we chat about the events, we just kind of covered a few there. Yes, but the, the, before the lineup, I think every single person in that lineup, except from one has been to World's Strongest Man, I think this year there was about eight of them, so <laughs> it's World's Strongest Man 2.0 at Royal Albert Hall in London, so here we go. Well, the events, I don't know, and this isn't an order, I'm just guessing from the top of my head. First one is Viking Press, um, then there's Yoke Pre uh, Press, Yoke Walk, then there's Deadlift for Reps, then there's Nickel Stones, and then there's Atlas Stones. So, the good thing about it is, I think it's a heavier Atlas Stone set this year, which I think needs to be done in Strawman. I think I talk about it on that World Strongest Man and other Giants live shows, that I don't know why. At this level, we're lifting 180 stone for the last stone. I think it should be 200, 210. You know, we're not we're lifting 360, 370 deadlifts, and we're not putting the deadlift down to 340 to 350. So, I think if you want you know better stone lifters and better you know people to come closer in competitions, then just train out the stones heavier. I think uh, I think it's easy for me to say because I'm the like the best in the world at it, but I think that's the only way you're going to do it. You know, and I really believe that at bigger at the stone sets make people stronger and, and buzzing that is going to be the that set as well mm -hmm. yeah it's going to be it's a good set of events i think they're going to do a heavier yoke i believe Oof. it's 450 kilo yoke and i think the yokes are going to be pretty big and pretty bulky so that'll be cool the deadlift as tom says it's i think it's the bigger set it's 360 kilos for reps the nickel stones are the nickel stones and um, the viking press is the same apparatus as it's been used previously so i think um, it's not been confirmed, but I, I, I think looking at it, um, there'll probably be like a world record attempt or whatever. And like the Denny, uh, the Nickel Stones, try and break the world record there. Obviously with Kevin Fairs, um, the previous record, or he is a current record holder, sorry. Um, and then also on the Viking Press, you know, 
I know, speaking for myself, I'll be looking to break that record. Um, I hit 13 reps pretty comfortably and I believe I can push it to 16 plus if I have to. Um, and same with Tom as well, we're both pretty equal in the training at the moment. After this video we're actually going down to train it, so we'll maybe give you a little taster of that in the next video. Um, but yeah, the events are really good, really excited, great to see uh, the last three World Strongest Men, um, is it yourself, Mitchell mm -hmm. and Alexi um, battling it out, great to see Aaron Bibby coming across and Big Eddie Williams and Rongo Keane coming um, across from Australia, it'll be really cool. So. Yeah, super excited for that one. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a competitive lineup. And it's good. This events are simple, but they're heavier and they're uh, the, the, the best kind of events mm. for all of us. I think they're going to make a good show for everyone, and it's going to be fun. So, and I, yeah. And I think with, with the Giants live shows, we know what we're going to get. You know, you, you get a good live stream. You get good athletes competing. The crowds are the best crowd in the world, um, in my humble opinion. Um, at Giants live, and yeah, we're super excited to to get back and, and smash another giant show. So we are planning doing a, f a couple of other shows. Should we chat we about a few that? more shows, I think. Well, I think we're going to be doing, we're, we're doing the Shaw Classic, that's been confirmed. We will both be there 100%. And then, obviously Glasgow, we missed it last year, but we're back there after Glasgow. And then after Glasgow, there might be another one or two shows, but it's they've not been confirmed. We've not had any confirmation yet, so we're just kind of waiting. But yeah, as, we f as far as we know, it's Royal Albert Hall, Shaw Classic Glasgow, mm. as we speak right now. Because mm. you, 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 obviously with the training that we're doing, you'll have noticed that we're throwing in heavier logs, which will, you know, hopefully looking at the Shaw Classic from last year, it's going to be heavy log. Um, world Championships in Glasgow is going to be a world record log, which I'll be going for. Obviously Tom will be as well. Um, we're pulling higher deadlift as well to mimic the, the hammer tire deadlift which has been at the Shaw Classic for the last few years. We'll throw in some loading because there's always loading about um, some throwing just to keep snappy and that and a few other bits and pieces as well but we are training, trying to en encompass everything in our training at the moment. I think I'll go, I don't know if Tom will, maybe in a few weeks we'll go to two event sessions a week just to allow our, our bodies to really get ready. I think that worked really well in the build up to World Strongest Man. So we are going to be busy this year. Um, we don't want to announce all the competitions because we don't know, but those are definitely the next three comps mm -hmm. that we um, have 100% committed to. Um, and hopefully, you know, if the if the dates and timings allow, we'll do another couple more, but um, we will let you guys know in due course. But um, yeah, super excited to be back at the Albert Hall. Hopefully I won't have any drinks this year, um, not during the show anyway, maybe after. We'll have a couple of pints after as a celebration, or pre-drinks with our mate Mitchell Hooper. We'll see what happens. Big Mitchell, you want a pint? Give us a shout, bye. Um, so yeah, that's it. So that's our little update. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Much appreciated. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. <laughs> Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the log press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 